Imagine a world without computers, hard to picture isn't it? But there was a time when this was our reality. Our journey into the dawn of computing takes us back thousands of years, to a time when the most advanced computational device was a simple abacus. This humble tool, composed of beads strung on wires or rods, was used to perform arithmetic calculations, and it marked the beginning of our quest to create tools that could aid in complex computations. As we moved through the centuries, the desire for more sophisticated computing devices persisted. This brings us to the 19th century, a time of rapid industrialization and invention. Among the visionaries of this era was Charles Babbage, an English mathematician and mechanical engineer. Babbage conceived the idea of the analytical engine, a machine that could be instructed to carry out any mathematical operation. This device, despite never being fully built, is often considered the first general-purpose computer. But what is a computer without programming? A significant part of our story lies with a woman named Ada Lovelace. A mathematician and writer, Lovelace worked closely with Babbage on the analytical engine. Her most significant contribution was an algorithm intended for processing by the engine. This algorithm, essentially a set of instructions for the machine to follow, is recognized as the world's first computer program. These early pioneers laid a foundation that would forever change the course of human history. The abacus, the analytical engine, and Lovelace's algorithm were not just inventions, they were the stepping stones that led us towards the digital age. They symbolize our innate curiosity, our drive to innovate, and our quest to push the boundaries of what is possible. As we delve deeper into the history of computing, we'll see how these early seeds grew into the technology that shapes our world today. But for now, Let's pause and appreciate how far we've come from the humble beginnings of the abacus and the visionary dreams of Babbage and Lovelace. The seeds were planted and the era of computing was about to take root. As technology advanced, so did the concept of computing. The evolution of computing has been a fascinating journey, transitioning from the realm of mechanical devices to that of electronic machines. This shift was monumental, marking the beginning of what we now know as modern computing. In the early days, computing was mechanical, relying on gears and levers to perform calculations. Imagine a world where every calculation had to be manually cranked out. It was laborious and time-consuming. But then, a sea change occurred with the birth of electronic computing, revolutionizing the way we process information. The pivot to electronic computing was epitomized by the creation of ENIAC, the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. ENIAC, birthed in the mid-40s, was the first electronic general-purpose computer, a machine that could be programmed to carry out a wide range of calculations. It was a behemoth, taking up a room the size of a small house and using enough electricity to power a small town. Despite its size, ENIAC was a game-changer, accelerating calculations to a speed unthinkable in the era of mechanical computing. But hardware is only half the story. The development of software, the programs and languages that tell computers what to do, was equally important in the birth of modern computing. Here we see the vital contribution of Grace Hopper, a pioneering computer scientist. Hopper developed the first compiler, a program that translates human-readable code into machine language. This was a major leap forward, making programming more accessible and paving the way for the development of high-level programming languages that are machine-independent. Hopper's work laid the foundation for the software industry, enabling the creation of complex programs and systems that power our world today. From the operating systems that run our computers to the apps on our smartphones, we owe a debt of gratitude to Hopper's innovative thinking, yet this was simply the beginning of a rapid technological revolution. Computers were no longer exclusive to research labs and military facilities. As we moved into the 1970s and 1980s, a revolution was brewing. A revolution that would bring computing power into our homes and offices. This was the rise of personal computers. The pioneers of this revolution, were two companies that have since become household names, Apple and IBM. Apple, co-founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, introduced the Apple II in 1977. The Apple II was more than just a computer, it was a complete system that came with a monitor, a keyboard, and the ability to run software right out of the box. This was a first in the industry, and it made computers accessible to a whole new audience. Around the same time, IBM was working on its own personal computer. The IBM PC, launched in 1981, became the standard for business use. It was powerful, reliable, and compatible with a wide range of software, an attractive proposition for businesses of all sizes. But hardware was just one side of the coin. 
the software that ran on these computers was equally important, and this is where Microsoft came into the picture. Led by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, Microsoft developed the operating system for the IBM PC. This system known as MS-DOS became the foundation for personal computing. It was user-friendly and versatile, opening up a world of possibilities for software development. Apple and Microsoft didn't just sell computers and software, they sold a vision of what computing could be. They made computers personal, something that could be part of our daily lives, whether we were working, studying, or just having fun. And so, by the end of the 1980s, computers had made their way into homes and offices around the world. They were no longer mysterious, intimidating machines reserved for scientists and engineers. They were tools for everyone and they were here to stay. Computers were now a household name but the evolution was far from over. The power of computers was about to be amplified. With the advent of the internet, the world witnessed a shift, a transformation that would redefine computing. This was not just another chapter in the history of computers, it was a paradigm shift. The world was about to experience a revolution, one that would change the way we lived, worked, and connected. The internet, a vast network of networks, connected computers across the globe, allowing instantaneous communication and data transfer. It was like a giant web, weaving together millions of computers, transcending the physical boundaries of time and space. But the internet was not just about connectivity. It was about accessibility. And this is where web browsers come into the picture. Browsers like Netscape Navigator and Internet Explorer became the gateways to the World Wide Web. They transformed the internet from a complex network understood by few into a user-friendly platform accessible to all. The 1990s witnessed an explosion, a dot-com boom. Entrepreneurs and investors saw the potential of the internet, jumped headlong into it. Technology companies sprouted like mushrooms, Dot-coms were the new gold rush. The stock market soared and fortunes were made overnight. The world was caught in the thrill of the new age, the age of the internet. But it was not just about business and money. The internet was changing the very fabric of society. It brought knowledge and information to the fingertips of anyone with a computer and a connection. It democratized information, breaking down barriers and opening up new horizons. It was a tool for education, communication, entertainment and so much more. The internet and computers became so intertwined, so inseparable, that it was hard to imagine one without the other. The power of the computer was no longer just in its processing speed or storage capacity, but in its ability to connect, to communicate, to access the world. The internet had forever changed the landscape of computing. The physical boundaries of computers began to blur. And the era of mobile computing was ushered in, where the world witnessed the rise of smartphones and tablets. These compact, powerful devices revolutionized how we interact with technology, making computers more accessible and personal than ever before. The computer was no longer a bulky machine confined to a desk, but a sleek, handheld device that could be carried around with ease. The advent of mobile computing meant that we could access information, connect with others, and perform tasks at any time, from anywhere. This was a significant shift that saw the integration of computers into our daily routines, whether it was for checking emails on the go, navigating routes or streaming our favorite shows, these pocket-sized computers made it all possible. On the other hand, the traditional concept of data storage also evolved with the introduction of cloud computing. Unlike the hard drives and floppy disks of the past, cloud computing provided a virtual space to store and access data. This meant that data was no longer tied to a physical device but could be accessed from any device anywhere as long as there was an internet connection. Cloud computing not only revolutionized data storage, but also transformed the way businesses operate. It allowed for real-time collaboration, efficient resource utilization, and scalability. It became the backbone for many services we use daily, like email, online shopping, and social media. Moreover, the combination of mobile and cloud computing opened up a world of new possibilities. Apps became more powerful as they could leverage the processing power of the cloud, and devices became lighter and more portable as they stored less data locally. As we move towards a more connected digital world, the line between the physical and digital continued to blur. The computer was no longer just a tool, but an extension of ourselves, seamlessly integrated into our lives. Computers were now ubiquitous, fitting right into our pockets. The future of computing is here, and it's mind-boggling. Picture a world where computers don't just follow instructions, but learn and adapt. 
That's the realm we're stepping into with the advent of artificial intelligence in computing. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the science of making machines smart. It's about developing computers that can mimic human intelligence, solving complex problems, recognizing patterns, and even understanding natural language. More than just a futuristic idea, AI is already a part of our everyday lives. It's in the voice assistants that answer our questions, the recommendation engines that suggest what movie to watch next, and the autonomous cars that are beginning to navigate our roads. AI is not just about making our lives easier though, it's about tackling the big, complex, global challenges that have so far been beyond our reach. With the power of AI we could model climate change more accurately, develop personalized medicine, or even predict and prevent cyber attacks. Now, imagine combining the power of AI with another groundbreaking technology, quantum computing. Quantum computers are not just faster versions of the computers we use today, they operate on a whole different level, using the principles of quantum mechanics to process information. While a traditional computer uses bits that can be either zero or one, a quantum computer uses quantum bits or qubits that can be both zero and one at the same time. This means that quantum computers can process massive amounts of data simultaneously, solving problems that would take today's fastest supercomputers millions of years in just a few seconds. The potential impact of quantum computing on everything from cryptography to drug discovery, from weather forecasting to artificial intelligence, is enormous. As we combine the adaptability and learning capability of AI with the raw computational power of quantum computing, we're looking at a future where computers are not just tools, but partners in solving the world's most pressing problems. The horizon of computing is expanding at an unprecedented rate. As we stand on the edge of this technological revolution, one can't help but wonder, what's next? As we peer into the future, the realm of possibilities is immense. We're looking at an era where the line between science fiction and reality is blurring. The potential for computers and computing technology is boundless, and it's fascinating to envision the marvels yet to come. Let's start with artificial intelligence, a domain that's already making headways. In the future, we can anticipate an even greater integration of AI in our daily lives. From self-driving cars to AI-powered personal assistants, we're on the brink of a world where machines understand, learn, and perhaps even empathize with us. Quantum computing, an intriguing and complex field, also holds great promise. While still in its infancy, it has the potential to revolutionize many sectors. From breaking codes to simulating molecular behavior for drug discovery, the possibilities are staggering. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of quantum mechanics, we might just be on the cusp of a quantum leap in computing power. Moreover, the societal impacts of these advancements cannot be overstated. On one hand, they promise to enhance our lives, making them more convenient, efficient, and even healthier. On the other, they compel us to grapple with new challenges, ethical considerations, privacy issues, job displacement, and more. Navigating this landscape requires not just technological prowess, but also wisdom and foresight. And let's not forget the potential for unimagined innovation. The history of computing is rife with unexpected breakthroughs and serendipitous discoveries, Who's to say what the next big thing might be? Perhaps it's a technology that merges the digital and biological world, or maybe it's something that transcends our current understanding of time and space. Indeed, as we stand at this juncture, the future of computing seems both exciting and daunting. It's a testament to the profound potential of human ingenuity and a reminder of the responsibilities that come with it. The era of computing, it appears, has just begun.